Hello and welcome to Kashmir Now. I'm your host Lipakshi Kurana. Let's take a look at what made news this week. Teachers in Pakistan occupied Kashmir cry for justice. JNK government committed to create vibrant entrepreneurial ecosystem in Kashmir Valley. Srinagar host Amrit Yuva Mahotsav, a festival of music, dance and drama. And in our special section of Incredible India, we take you to Bashali town of Jammu and Kashmir, which is known for its exotic paintings. A large number of determined teachers in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir are holding anti-government demonstrations. They also blamed the local authorities for muzzling their rightful demands. They said they wanted to address the issues of salary, regularization and discrimination against them in the capital city of Muzaffarabad, but the government seems intent on throwing a spanner in the works. Undeterred, these resilient educators are not backing down and have vowed to go to every peaceful extent to get their voices heard. Teachers in Pakistan occupied Kashmir are determined to raise their voices for a long overdue cause. While they have been seeking equitable treatment at par with their equals in provinces of Pakistan. Another obstacle that has further strengthened their resolve is the government's apathetic attitude towards them. These teachers are committed to taking their movement and demands to regional capital Muzaffarabad. A cornered and scared system, however, has prompted their plans. The local administration, which is accused of operating on the instructions of Islamabad, has launched a brutal crackdown against those who are at the forefront of this campaign. Despite being given repeated assurances about the peaceful nature of the demonstration, the authorities arrested several of the senior teachers. हम मुजफ्फराबाद पहुंचने की भरपूर कोशिश करेंगे हम अपने मुतालबे से पीछे नहीं हटेंगे हम असाजा इकराम हैं हम पुरामन हैं हम पुरामन ही रहेंगे इंशाल्लाह ताला हम कभी जो है किसी कानून को हाथ में नहीं लेंगे लेकिन हमारा यह मुतालबा है कि हमें मुजफ्फराबाद तक जाने दिया जाए इस तरह से जुल्म और सतम और इस तरह रास्ते बंद करना जिस तरह हम कोई यहां के लोग नहीं है यहां के वासी नहीं है यह असाजा इकराम हमारे माथे का जुमर है ये सोसाइटी का फेस है इनके लिए रास्ते खोले जाए और इन्हें मुजफ्फराबाद जाने दिया जाए हमारा प्रोग्राम है हम इन शाह तला मुजफ्फराबाद जाएंगे और वहां से हम अपनी बात जो है वो जरूर करेंगे The local administration has employed every tool in the kit to contain the consistently compounding popularity of this campaign. Senior teachers and leaders were arrested on trumped-up charges. Demonstrators say it was a tactic designed to intimidate them, and it has proven to be a blessing in disguise, for they are even more determined to fight for their rights. The appeal to join in protest against the government has resonated with young and old alike and everybody supporting the movement. Women are coming up in large numbers to actively lend their support. So, I am requesting that you all of the women and women are in the school teacher organization and who are in the rest of our other people who are in the rest of our own and who are in the rest of our own. आप तमाम खातन हजरा जो हैं वो मरसी सदर की जो काल जो है गिरफ्तारी से पहले की है उसी को बरकरार समझे द रीजन ऑफ पाकिस्तान ऑक्यूपाइड कश्मीर हैज फेस डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑफ वन फॉर्म और द अदर फॉर डेकेट पीपल हैव रेजिस्टेड एंड रेज डिमांड्स फॉर इक्वालिटी द अथॉरिटीज हाउ एवर हैव बीन लीस्ट बॉर्डर्ड अबाउट देयर कंसर्न्स In fact, they have gone overboard to muzzle the voice of rightful demand and resistance. The story of teachers is developing on the same line. It would be historic if it means a different fate. Well, the political activists from Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have been raising the issues related to human rights violations, terrorism, and prevailing unrest in the region. So today we are joined by Jamil Maksud, the spokesperson for United Kashmir People's National Party, to discuss the human rights situation in the territory of Jammu and Kashmir under Pakistan's forceful occupation. Thank you, Mr. Jamil, for sparing your time. 
Well, recently you participated at a seminar in Brussels where you highlighted the issues related to Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Can you please tell our viewers more about it? Yes, thank you very much for uh, giving me and providing me this opportunity to elaborate more about uh, and the recent events <clears throat> unfolded in Brussels. <clears throat> Basically, uh, there was uh, one program uh, which was honored uh, by the European Institute of Asian Studies in Brussels uh, to, to provide Pakistani journalists a space so that they can uh, inform international community and Brussels community, Brussels diplomatic community about ongoing situation in Pakistan and uh, the future prospect as well. So my presence was there and um, as usual, we have been raising the question in, in the past. And so when Haman Mir cited about the UN resolutions, I asked him that and the, the fundamental of the UN resolutions was the outcome of truce agreement. And the truce agreement says that Pakistan would have to withdraw its forces and tribals and all the people who entered into Jammu and Kashmir for the purpose of war and which were uh, not the normal resident of that region. And this is one aspect that Pakistan did not comply. And the other one is, is the 20th of April 1949 Karachi Agreement. That why Pakistan segregated the strategically important area of Gilgit Baltistan from rest of uh, the area which came under its occupation. So normally uh, there should have been a local authority established by Pakistan, but uh, that uh, local authority means the local people would have been empowered uh, so that they can run the local affairs. So instead of uh, complying with these stipulations uh, Im imposed by the, uh, by the truce agreement and other UN resolutions, uh, Pakistan act contrary. So Pakistan was basically failed to, to comply with its international obligations under UN, uh, UN charter, you can say, or under UN uh, Security Council resolutions and uh, particularly the truce agreement. So in that response, Haman Mir uh, revealed that uh, uh, the Karachi agreement was fake and the signatures of the then, the Prime Minister of Pakistan occupied Jammu Kashmir, Sardar Mahmoud Ibrahim Khan, um, were also fake. So now we have two positions. If uh, the present agreement, which is uh, available for us, and which we have seen that the minister without portfolio, Mr. Mustaq Gurmani, are the government of Pakistan and the, the government of Kashmir, because the government of Kashmir was not a de jure government or de facto government, because in, in both positions, uh, it was not a mandatory government. It was not recognized by Islamabad. It was not recognized by the UN it was not recognized by any authority. So we cannot say that it was a government. Of course, yes, the UN has recommended as it a local authority uh, until the final disposition of the, the whole state of Jammu and Kashmir. That's all right. But if the government of Pakistan has signed with the, with the government of POJK, Pakistan Akbar Jammu Kashmir government, it was illegal. And it, if it was not signed, and if uh, the signatures of uh, the then so-called prime president, then it was also illegal. And it was, uh, uh, it was you can say, a breach of uh, Pakistani uh, commitment uh, at United Nations uh, and also with the UNCIP. Well, your party has been highlighting various issues which the people in POK and Gilgit Baltistan have been facing for decades. Can you tell us your core demands? Basically, the primary object of our party is to reunify the Jammu and Kashmir because we are under the illegal occupation of Pakistan and uh, we are challenging Pakistan position on Gilgit Baltistan and on POJK. And thus, we, we are striving for a peaceful reunification with the rest of Jammu and Kashmir because we believe that historically, constitutionally, and legally, and in the jurisprudence of the whole case, the 
if if there is a case it is between the people of jammu and kashmir and the government of india any government or the state of india so we have to negotiate with them but first we have to remove pakistani boats from our side so peacefully we are demanding that pakistan should remove its army and its proxies like lashkar e taiba jaish e mohammad hakat al ansar tehreek ul mujahideen hizb ul mujahideen and many others who are used against the democratic and secular forces a progressive forces of jammu and kashmir and also against india so that's why we are uh, we are peacefully uh, working internationally and also we have certain uh, talks with uh, with the different uh, levels of uh, government of india um, in 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 recent years many of our our colleagues our party chair has visited uh, new delhi in 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 different conferences and he has been speaking peacefully and he has been reminding government of india of its of its promises with the people of jammu and kashmir that they will do their best to remove pakistan from gilgit baltistan and pojk from zafarabad and other areas thank you mr jamil for talking to us and now let's move to jammu and kashmir where startup leadership summit 2023 was held with an aim to bring together budding entrepreneurs industry experts investors and innovators the event also focused on the challenges and opportunities faced by startups in kashmir and brainstorming potential solutions to foster a conducive environment for entrepreneurship we have this report Jammu and Kashmir Entrepreneurship Development Institute recently organized the Startup Leadership Summit 2023 in Srinagar. Aimed at bringing together budding entrepreneurs, industry experts, investors and innovators, the summit provided a platform for entrepreneurs to showcase their ideas, network with innovators and learn from experienced mentors ek platform hai entrepreneurs ke liye aur startups ke liye ek acha sa acha platform hai taki uh, entrepreneurs apne aap ko uh, unko ek platform mil jaye apne aap ko uh, showcase karne ka aur apne products ko showcase karne ka dusra uh, jo naye startups hai unko ek boost mil jayega jo uh, लोग देखेंगे कि स्टार्टअप्स आगे पहले पहले हुए हैं कुछ लोग काम कर रहे हैं तो उनको एक एनकरेजमेंट मिल जाएगी दूसरा जहां यहां पर जो आज ये सामत है तो यहां बाहर आ, 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 बाहर पूरे इंडिया से एक्सपर्टीज आई हुए है तो आ, वो यहां पर स्टार्टअप्स के बारे में आ, कुछ बारीकियां जो है वो सिखाएंगे ट्रेनिंग्स वगैरह और जो फंडिंग uh, वगैरह पिछली बार भी हुआ था पिचिंग सेशन स्टार्टअप्स uh, के लिए फंडिंग सेशन वगैरह तो वो इन्वेस्टर्स भी यहां पर पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे तो एक एंटरप्रनरशिप uh, को एक बूस्ट मिल जाएगा द समिट फीचर्ड इन साइटफुल पैनल डिस्कशन इंटरक्टिव वर्कशॉप पिच सेशन एंड की नोट स्पीचेज बाई रिनाउंड स्पीकर इन द स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम focusing on challenges faced by new startups in Kashmir the summit provided a conducive environment for entrepreneurs to discuss solutions to the hurdles they face in their entrepreneurial journey i think is good initiative from government तो इससे हमें जो नए नए लोग जो आ रहे हैं आंट्रप्रनर बन रहे हैं तो उनके लिए हेल्पफुल है और दूसरा ये है कि इस गुड क्योंकि अभी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बहुत ज्यादा है सो आई थिंक गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग बेटर गुड जॉब कि नए नए लोग आ रहे हैं स्टार्टअप के लिए स्कीम्स खो रहे हैं तो आई थिंक दिस गुड आई थिंक बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि यहाँ पे आके ही लोगों को समझ आएगा जो स्टूडेंट्स है वो आके यहाँ पे समझेंगे कि एक्चुअली जो स्कीम्स है वो डिफरेंट जो हमारे लोकल प्रोडक्ट्स है उसमें कैसे हम उनको पॉलिश करके उन प्रोडक्ट्स को हम आगे बेच सकते हैं और उससे हमारी जो इकोनॉमी है वो बढ़ जाएगी द समिट ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द गवर्नमेंट वॉज अ वेलकमिंग इनिशिएटिव फॉर द लोकल्स टू गेट सपोर्ट एक्सेस टू कैपिटल 
infrastructure development, skill enhancement, and market access for their startups. The Startup Leadership Summit 2023 served as a launch pad for innovative startups, enabling them to gain recognition and attract investments from potential investors and venture capitalists. ये टू डेज स्टार्टअप लीडरशिप समिट है तो इसमें हमारा ये मानना है कि हम किस तरह से अपने यूथ को जो एग्जिस्टिंग एंटरप्रेन्योर है जो हमारा यूनिवर्सिटी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज पॉलिटेक्निक डिग्री कॉलेज का स्टार्टअप है उसको कैसे हम गाइड करेंगे तो ये दो दिन में हम इसको जो लीगल एस्पेक्ट्स हैं इसके वो सिखाएंगे क्योंकि इसमें टीम इंडिया इन्वेस्ट इंडिया के लोग आए हैं वहाँ के एक्सपर्ट आए हैं अल्फा से आए हैं थ्रोआउट इंडिया जो है लगभग पांच आठ जो एक्सपर्ट हैं वो आए हैं द इन्वेस्ट इंडिया इनिशिएटिव बाई द गवर्नमेंट इज गर्निंग प्रेज ऑल ओवर द यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर द प्रोग्राम नॉट ओनली ऑफर्स इन्वेस्टमेंट टू द न्यू स्टार्टअप बट फेसिलिटेट्स दैम विद एक्सपर्ट गाइडेंस एंड हैंड होल्ड दैम थ्रू आउट देयर जर्नी The programs like these have become a source of motivation and growth for young entrepreneurs of Kashmir who stand poised to make a mark in India's swiftly developing story. Moving on since article 370 was abrogated the government of Jammu and Kashmir has tried to foster an environment of social and cultural development. and the region has made substantial progress in achieving this objective with its local artists getting global recognition for their exceptional talent to acknowledge and promote the talent of such artists a 3 day amrit yuva mahotsav was held in shrinagar the mega event served as a much needed platform to these artists to showcase their skills sari bo The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir has always been a melting pot of cultures and traditions. To celebrate this cultural diversity, a 3-day Amrit Yuva Mahotsav inaugurated in Srinagar city was an effort by the government to revive the old customs and to give the artists an opportunity to showcase their art. organized by Sangeet Natak Academy in collaboration with the Jammu and Kashmir Academy of Art, Culture and Languages the event was not just attended and participated by the locals but also welcomed artists from different states of India scores of people flocked to Srinagar Tagore Hall to celebrate the cultural heritage and ethnic diversity आपने जो स्टेज पे देखा वो तो आपने देखा बट हमने जैसे अंदर जैसे ग्रीन रूम में तैयार हुए अलग अलग डांस फॉर्म्स अलग अलग कलाकार साथ में तैयार हुए वो खुद एक कल्चरल एक्सचेंज होता है हम एक दूसरे से एक दूसरे को देखते हैं सीखते हैं तो बहुत अच्छा लगता है और हाँ बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है हमको यहाँ पे आके द इवेंट वॉज इनोग्रेटेड एंड लेड बाई मनोज सिन्हा द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर During the event people were dressed in vibrant traditional costumes to symbolize their state's ethnicity and artists from across India were seen showcasing their cultures and traditions through their creative dance moves The audience was mesmerized by the dancers fluid movements frequent changes in face expression during the event तुम्हें 
बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं अलग अलग स्टेट से पद्मश्री अवार्डेड मैक्सिमम यहाँ अवार्डेड आर्टिस्ट आ रहे हैं और हमारे प्रोग्राम में आज खुद लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर श्री मनोज सिन्हा जी आ रहे हैं ऐसे नहीं कि खुद चेयरमैन मैम आए हुए हैं तो हमारे लिए बहुत सौभाग्य की बात है कि इतना बड़ा इवेंट कश्मीर में हो रहा है जिससे हमारे आर्टिस्टों को भी मौका मिल रहा है बाहर के आर्टिस्टों को भी मौका मिल रहा है और जितने हमारे नए युवा है जैसे आप देख सकते हैं पूरा हॉल जो है वो आर्टिस्ट जो कॉलेज के स्टूडेंट है उनसे भरा हुआ है उनको भी अपना कल्चर देखने का मौका उनको भी पता चल रहा है कि हमारा फोक है जो फोक हमारा दब चुका है वो इन्हीं प्रोग्राम के हवाले से हमारे जो नए युवा उनको पता चलेगा कि हाँ हमारा फोक है जिसे हमें जिंदा रखना है The three-day cultural festival's objective was dubbed as a turning point for both local and visiting artists since it presented a wealth of chances for them. तरह के परफॉर्म जितने भी फेस्टिवल मैं तो चाहती हूँ बहुत ज्यादा होने चाहिए आप देख सकते हैं जो आर्टिस्ट लोग हैं बहुत सारे आर्टिस्ट हैं जिनका घर इसी से चलता है जिनका और कोई इनकम सोर्स नहीं है अगर ये ऐसे ही फेस्टिवल होते रहेंगे वो तमाम आर्टिस्ट जिनका घर इससे चलता है उनका घर पे खाना आता रहेगा उनके घर में चूल्हा जलता रहेगा और जो हमारे जितने भी युवा है युवा कलाकार है उनको भी मौका मिलेगा उनमें भी और ज्यादा प्रेरणा आएगी कि नहीं इसमें कुछ ना कुछ है कुछ ना कुछ देखने को मिलेगा कुछ ना कुछ नया सीखने को मिलेगा वो भी इससे जुड़ेंगे Apart from being a platform to demonstrate dancing, singing and other artistic skills, the event also served as an opportunity to foster strong connections between artists and their art. The event also facilitated cultural exchange between participants. तीन दिन का फेस्टिवल हो रहा है इन्हीं फेस्टिवलों की वजह से आर्टिस्ट जिंदा है जब ऐसे फेस्टिवल होंगे तभी ये कला आगे चलेगी तो आर्टिस्ट को भी इससे फायदा है लोगों को भी और हमारी जो कला है ये हम दिखा सकते हैं आज यहाँ इसमें बाहर से भी आर्टिस्ट आए हैं हिंदुस्तान के बहुत सारे स्टेटों से तो उनको भी हम देखेंगे वो हमारा देखेंगे हम उनका देखेंगे तो इससे बड़ा फायदा है आर्ट का इवेंट्स लाइक दीज serve as an inspiration to artists who are inspired to aspire a specific art form such cultural events are an opportunity for gifted artists to emerge from obscurity and to showcase their talent to global audience Moving on, India, the land of rich cultural diversity, proudly holds a heritage of various art forms, each showcasing the country's artistic prowess. Among these treasures is the illustrious art of Basholi paintings. Originating in the small town of Basholi in Jammu and Kashmir, Basholi paintings are a fusion of Hindu mythology, Mughal miniature techniques, and local hill art. With a history dating back to the 17th and 18th centuries, these paintings have captivated art enthusiasts for generations. An exquisite form of painting characterized by a vigorous application of primary colors and deep set facial patterns is one unique feature of Basoli painting of Katua that leaves the viewers mesmerized at first glance. While the captivating Basoli painting draws its inspiration from Vaspanism, the themes have mostly been taken from epics and Purans. Hailing from the foothills of the western Himalayas, the art defies convention as it draws out the illustrations with vibrant and bold colors and has been spread throughout the regions of Jammu and Punjab. While its origins can be traced back to the 17th and early 18th century in Basoli, the painting later found its way to other hill states of Mankot, Noorpur, Kullu, Mandi, Suket, Balaspur, Nalagarh, Chamba, Guler and Kangra. The old eccentric art of Katwa have been awarded the geographical indication GI tag making it the first art piece of Jammu and Kashmir to have the license to preserve its uniqueness. 
And now, when the Amarnath Yatra has begun, the government is making efforts to showcase these artworks. ये लोकल आर्टिस्ट से ज्यादा ये हमारे कॉलेज के बच्चे हैं जो इसको यहाँ पे पेंटिंग को बना रहे हैं बसोली पेंटिंग जैसे कि आप जानते हैं जीआई टैग वाली पेंटिंग है जो कठुआ की बसोली की एक फेमस बहुत ही अब तो पूरे देश में ये प्रसिद्ध होने लगी है तो इसीलिए क्योंकि जब यहाँ पे इतनी भारी मात्रा में यात्री आते हैं तो प्रशासन ये चाहता था कि ऐसी पेंटिंग जगह जगह पे हो ताकि लोग उसका अप्रिशिएट करें और लोग भी देखें कि जम्मू कश्मीर में कठुआ में बसोली में लोग कितने ज्यादा कार्यरत हैं और कितना उनमें कैपेबिलिटी और टूल The walls of the town became canvas for the college going students who exhibited their exceptional skills of sketching the bold and vibrant folk art of hills in the gateway of Jammu and Kashmir. The alluring selfie points created at various sites in Kathua were drawing the attention of pilgrims who couldn't resist stopping by the wall paintings to appreciate the art and take a selfie to seize the moment. आज मैंने यहाँ पे बनाई है बसोली पेंटिंग तो इस बनाने का मेरा इसका मकसद ये है कि जो भी यहाँ बाहर से स्टेट से जो लोग आएंगे वो हमारे कल्चर के बारे में जानेंगे यहाँ पे आकर और उनको पता चलेगा कि हमारा जे कल्चर क्या है और जगह जगह हमारे जो जितनी भी जम्मू कश्मीर में जगहें हैं देखने के लिए वो उनके पोस्टर लगे हुए हैं ताकि वो इसे लगाए गए हैं ताकि जो टूरिस्ट हैं वो उनको अपनी तरफ अट्रैक्टिव कर अट्रैक्ट कर सकें The traditional art form originated in the Basoli town of Jammu and Kashmir is a fusion of Hindu mythology, Mughal miniature technique and folk art of the local hills. The intricate form of miniature art requires a special type of stone color exported from Jaipur and paint brushes made out of the long hairs from the squirrel tails. These materials are essential for creating the fine details that are the key characteristics of this art form. ये हमारी बहुत ही पुरानी फॉर्म है पेंटिंग की इसमें बहुत से रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन होते हैं इसको बनाने के लिए और इसे हम मिनीचर पेंटिंग भी कहते हैं जैसे इसमें हमने बताया है कि इसका जो बॉर्डर है वो येलो होगा और वो सोली पेंटिंग में मैक्सिमम बॉर्डर येलो ही होते हैं अगर नाइट भी होगा तो उसका ग्रे बॉर्डर होगा और ग्रे बेस लाइन होगी इसमें बताते हैं कि इसमें इसको बनाने के लिए ना स्टोन कलर्स का यूज किया जाता है स्टोन कलर्स जो कि जयपुर से मिलते हैं दी बसोली पेंटिंग ऑफ काठुआ इज मेरली अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ इंडिया कल्चरली रिच एंड डाइवर्स आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट राम द कॉर्नर वन कैन फाइंड एम्पल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सच वंडर्स विच वुड बी विच यू विद दे ओल्ड चार्म दिस वीक्स एपिसोड गुड बाय एंड टेक केयर